Hi everybody, let's come back uh, in this uh, second tutorial part uh, about the the rig and animation of a, of a chain, mechanical chain. So, uh, in the previous tutorial we've set up these gears, we've created this path, uh, the, ch the, the 3D chain, the, ch the bond chain, the link to the bond chain, and now we will play with, uh, with all this, okay? Let's hide this, uh, these wheels and now let's select this first here, this third bone, this first bone. Okay. And go in the animation menu, I key solver, spline I key, and select the last bone. Okay. So here it's just created a, an I key solution. And now here you can select the third thing, which is a spline. Okay. So let's select this spline. Yeah, great. So here we've got something quite interesting. First of all, it's taking quite less place, but it's far from perfection because you can see there's a little problem with the orientation. And because we've not, we have not here, here, because we had a non-round value, of course, there's overlapping chain pods but this will be easily solved okay so here is my first bone okay just for information you can play a little bit with the along path and here you already have a part of the final solution okay so now let's remember where this is I never remember oh yeah I think it's by clicking on that and here there is so let's select the here this big point which is called I key chain 01 normally maybe I key chain number two three or another number select it in the animation panel in the motion sorry panel in the spline I key solver here and you've got a twist start and twist end angle so let's just you can see what it makes and so here it's 90 degrees okay so now, if we go back and select our first first bone, which is here, and play with our along path, check, we've got something very, 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 very interesting, okay? So this is great, okay? Now that we've got that, I'm just gonna make a bit of tweaks just to so press I pressed H or this uh, select by name here I select all my bones and I'm just gonna call them this here bones and press enter so that like that I can select them easily and hide them okay well here you can see the wheels are really not in place so go in top view and here let's rotate these so that they fit approximately correctly. So here it's a here I've just here tried to to set my my wheel okay and I'm just gonna repeat that with this wheel here and rotate it so that it fits approximately. Uh, yeah, and this is not really good because for the moment our chain is far from perfection. Okay, so let's stay like that. Okay, so here, as you can see, we've got some point helpers that have been created. Um, don't f uh, let's reset. Just not to sorry, I made a mistake. Let's reset this position. We'll just we need here to tweak. Uh, and where it is, oh, and I've made a big, big, big mistake. Uh, so let's, oops, sorry. Where is my bone zero one? It's here. Let's reset the along path here. Okay. So what happens? What happens? What happens? My bone one is here. Okay. And this here must come here. So we've got to increase the length of our spline. 
how to do that just here by tweaking so here it's so maybe you'll find an easier way to do what I'm doing but for the moment I really don't know how to do that mm, properly so here it's at less 12 I think I'm just gonna set it to less 7 okay and I'm just gonna select all these helpers here here and here and now just move them less 7 oopla uh, sorry 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 uh, less 5 okay it's better what I've done here Let's move this one too. Okay, and move this one. So five more. Okay. So here it's just an incremental. Uh, oops. Play with. Uh, here you can see we are just here. Okay. So we need to increase the here this. Uh, so let's increase here by two. I'll need here to reduce that by 2 okay and this one again and this one more oh it's a bit too much okay you've seen so now we've got to make this here tangent okay how to do that so here will be a very awful awful way okay just by now uh, sliding this a little bit and now just to adjust that just tweak like that okay here it is so where is the difference let's say it's okay so here I'm at 48 and here 46 so this will make some artifacts but I will consider it's good really good enough okay now we are in a very good state we've got our chain which is perfectly now if we check here there is no overlapping chain parts okay this is great okay now we need to adjust the position of our wheels go in here and play with the Z rotation in the direction you want it really doesn't matter okay let's say oh there's a problem it seems uh, let's hide my bones here there's a problem oh no there's no problems it's okay it's okay it's okay now top view repeat exactly the same process for this one okay here it should be okay so it should okay here it's good and now we just need here to affect the pivot center uh, align to world okay and reset x form so that for max now this is the exact setup uh, up, uh, effect pivot align to world okay uh, reset selected convert to editable poly so that now if I go in the rotation panel here you can see so I don't know why it's not in zero maybe because I'm not saving so here we are not uh, okay so here is okay so now we are ready to animate okay so before everything I think I'm just gonna select these here all these chain parts 
and I'm going to just chain that, OK? And I will apply a gray material on it that I'll turn a bit black and a bit more, more bright, okay. like that, just to give a bit of realism, OK? So actually, if I take, so I will take this wheel as the engine one, OK? So if I rotate it along Z, I don't have any moves, OK? So what is making my I keychain move? If I unhide all here, I will select here my bone number one, which must be here. This bone here has a beautiful path here, a long path here, which here, if I can animate it, will make it move, okay? Will make move all my chain. So, now it's just uh, chain parts. Let's hide them. Let's hide this wheel. Here is my, so let's hide that and hide that. Here is my bone one. So here I will create a wire parameter between this wheel, the rotation along Z, And my bone one, so here it's in the heavy key sub control, position, path constraint, percent. Okay. And it will be only in that direction. The rotation will only command the the percentage. And click connect. And now let's have a look. So let's move that on the left. And here I will just uh, move that on the right, like that, with this to select it, okay. So let's here rotate that. What happens? So actually it's going in the in the right direction, but really not at the right speed, okay. Why? So let's give a strange rotation, okay. If we go here in the in the bone one that is here, check. We've got a a strange strange value, okay, which is not corresponding to the angle here. Why? Because first we need to convert this in degree, okay? Update. Next, this value here you can see zero or one hundred percent, but it's not. Okay. Sorry. So now uh, I won't develop the math that will be behind that, but you get to believe in me <laughs> and uh, apply exactly that. So the percentage <coughs> is equal to the the angle of rotation of my wheel, and I will multiply two and my radius. So if you will remember, it's twelve that I will multiply P, okay? And all that I will divide it by 360 that I will multiply my length. And if you remember, I've got it here. But this was the initial one because now it has changed. So just to have it, we need to select uh, where it is. So press H, it's the path go back in the utilities measures so just recopy this value here and you can close that click update hmm you can see a kind of alignment of my bones along my teeth and here if I rotate let's try to uh, sorry that oh it's not sliding anymore so it seems I found the right the right value okay okay so now just for fun let's unhide all let's here click set key create a key go here rotate that okay set key uh, now here 
uh, it's the Z rotation just say 360 okay and now if here I play I play it you can see a beautiful thing now if I select the bones and hide them here I've got that it's quite great but first of all I hate the nonlinear so select these points here here to linear okay let's play again it's better in one speed okay you can uh, and now we just have now to link this rotation to the Z rotation of the other one here in, this di in that direction and here we've got a beautiful uh, transmission realized by a chain so here you can see there's a kind of little jump okay because it's just looping so I know this here is really not perfect okay because in the real world uh, you here get an, uh, generally another wheel which is coming here and that is here to adjust the the tension or the path length if you prefer okay here it's not the case it's totally mm, it's approximate but there are no relative moves between chain and gears and that's what we wanted to do and each element are uh, still objects, independent objects, and it's not a skinned object based on a bone uh, bone chain. Okay. So on this beautiful move, <laughs> I will stop this second video. I hope uh, you'll have learned a little bit. If you get any question, really don't worry and ask them. Uh, I'll try to answer. Um, what else? Nothing. Bye-bye.